Ciao, homie. So the Rogue Invitational 2021 Strongman Contest continues to excite and the Seer Dumbbell Medley has now come to an end on October 29th, 2021. Let's get into the results. But first and foremost, I want to give a shout out to the production value. So this is happening in an outdoor stadium. Uh, the sound is great with the commentators, with the announcers. There was a little bit of an echo with one of the announcers at one point, but other than that, you can hear it really well. It's better than a lot of other contests I've heard audio-wise in the past. It's different from Giants Live, so it's not the sort of um, showmanship that Giants Live does in more of a, I don't want to say a circus atmosphere, but Neil Pickup is pretty dramatic. I, I really like him, but it's not that sort of over-the-top drama stadium show. It's more of a let's go out in the field and see what we can do. So it's a different type of exciting, but I'm really liking it a lot. And uh, I've been putting this in my descriptions, but I'll let you know here once again. Go to the Rogue Fitness YouTube channel, as you can see right here. They're live streaming all three days of the Rogue Invitational. So you should check it out there after you check out my results and analysis. So let's have a look at what happened in the Sear Dumbbell. So just to give you a little reminder, the Sear Dumbbell, there were five of them in this medley, starting off with 253 pounds, then 274 pounds, then 280, then 290, and then 300 pounds. So the idea is to see how many of those implements the athletes can get through in a two and a half minute time limit. So they said that Mateusz Kiliuszkowski has the world record at 320 pounds, but he was interviewed ahead of time and said he was a little bit nervous, you know, due to the injuries that he's had to fight through and whatnot, and not feeling as confident as he otherwise might. So starting off with Jerry Pritchett, Jerry unfortunately zeroed this event. He went in the second pairing, so these were head-to-head. -head. He went in the second pairing versus Luke Stoltman. Uh, he kind of walked very slowly to the first one, to the 253, like he didn't seem very confident uh, in it and his abilities with that today. So he grabbed it. Um, he seemed to not even really try, he kind of put it down. He kicked it around a little bit. Uh, he was shaking out his legs. So hopefully he's not suffering with some injury in his legs um, that is bothering him where he kind of knew that he wouldn't have the leg drive to do this. So wishing Jerry the best there. Moving on up, J.F. Caron came away with two points. Um, and I'll caveat this by saying, these are the points that are on Strongman Archives right now, which seem to make a little more sense to me. When I look at the points that they posted on the live stream, um, they didn't show points for this event, but they showed overall points. And I can sort of subtract out event number one, and some of them don't add up the way I would expect, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So J.F. Carone, two points. Uh, he had one implement, so he went in the fifth pairing versus Tom Stoltman. Uh, they gave the weights for some of the guys, so JF weighing 342 today. Uh, he was the first of the two to get to the 253-pound dumbbell, but Tom pressed it faster. Then JF missed 274, but Tom got it on an extraordinarily wide stance, so he kind of like spread his legs way out. I'll pop a photo up here for you so you can see, but uh, locked it out and got the good call there. JF failed two attempts at 274, with um, he, he dipped and seemed to like sit in his dip for a second or so. So I don't know if that affected him poorly or not, but just something I noticed. Three points going to Mikhail Shivlikov, who did one implement, uh, possibly a little bit faster, and that's why he gets the three points. He went first versus Mateusz Kieliuszkowski. He was so close on 274 after a bunch of tries, but uh, didn't quite get it. But you know, Mikhail doesn't give up, so he, uh, he kept going. Four points to Luke Stoltman, so he also gets one implement. He went in the second pairing um, versus uh, Jerry Pritchett. He got 253 with no problem, and uh, he was moving fast to the first and second one. He had two failed attempts at 274, and that was it for Luke. Five points went to Rob Kearney, so uh, Rob went in the third pairing versus Alexei Novikov. The 253-pounder was no problem for him, but then he walked to the 274 while Alexi was running to all of them, so maybe, you know, something in his mind, a lack of confidence or, or something leading into that second dumbbell. He got close on it, but couldn't quite lock it out, so five points going to Rob Kearney. Six points to Tom Stoltman, who went fifth in the order versus J.F. Carone. Uh, they said he's weighing 397, so a big boy. Uh, he looked great on the first two. 
He chalked in between the first and the second one, so not a huge hurry between those two. Uh, he then attempts the 280-pounder, and he has it on his shoulder and kind of lifts and loses it behind him, and, and that was it. He kind of called it there. Seven points go to Brian Shaw. So Brian got two implements. He went fourth versus Martins Lises. Uh, they said Brian's wearing 405 today, so not the heaviest he's ever been, not the lightest either. Uh, maybe a good balance for him. Second attempt on the 280 caused him a limp. So he, he tried the 280, he failed it. He tried it again, and he went limping away. Uh, he came back to try it again, eventually had a conversation with one of the judges, so I don't know if the conversation was around how much time was remaining, but seemed to uh, make a decision there to call it there and kind of uh, did a did a hand-on-heart thanking the crowd gesture. Mateusz Kuliskowski, uh, eight points for him, so he gets three implements. He went first versus Mikhail Shivliakov. He could not lock out the 290. Uh, the 280 took him a bunch of steps back, so he got the 280 up, step back, step back, step back, and, and got it and fought through it and got it and got the good call. And uh, as I said, couldn't quite lock out the 290, but did very well here. Eight points for Mateusz. Nine points going to Martins Lisi, so returning with uh, with a thunder, went fourth versus Brian Shaw. He was, both of them, I felt, were both out fast. Uh, Brian actually pressed the first two a fraction faster than Martins did, so Martins seemed to um, have a, a small stumble, like had to stabilize himself, where Brian, maybe being the bigger guy, had stability, like the weight didn't move him around. Um, and then, you know, Martins got close on 290, but uh, it crashed down on his shoulder, and he kind of briefly grabbed it again, but then stopped. So, you know, that's going to uh, that's going to cause some issues when a weight comes crashing down on your shoulder that weighs that much. And then 10 points goes to the winner, an astounding performance for Alexei Novikov, the only man to get all five of them. He does it in 59.59 seconds, remembering it's not a 60-second time limit. It's two-and-a-half-minute time limit. He does it in under a minute. He was blazing fast. The first four all looked easy. Uh, the fifth one, he seemed to maybe pick up a little too fast, got it stuck on his chest, had to put it down, try again. But then even then, you know, got it without much of a problem. Alexi had the same technique, the same exact dip, the same shoulder positioning. He was just a machine on this. It was incredible to watch. And, um, you know, truly earned this victory here. I felt he would win this event, and he did, and he looked astounding. Uh, the commentators were mentioning how maybe some folks in the crowd who have not seen Strongman before because there are multiple different disciplines going on, uh, he may have earned some new fans here for Strongman with that unbelievable performance. So... That's how the Sear Dumbbell Medley shook out at the Rogue Invitational 2021. When I have information about the next event, you can check it out by clicking here.